my dazzlers welcome back so today i'm going to show you how to create this very pretty yet minimal look using minimum products and the best part of this video is i'm creating this look using only five products five products is all you need to create this very pretty minimal look i know it's really really hot outside and wearing too much makeup is a hassle especially when you have to wear masks and go out i mean what's the use of wearing all that foundation i mean you can if you want to but this is just another option for you this is just another option for all my lovelies out there who don't like to put on much makeup and i'm also going to tell you about my new watch which is another daniel wellington watch i'm just kidding this is the same watch that i already had i just changed the straps and it definitely definitely gives the watch a totally new look also i'm a huge fan of multi-purpose products so i show you how to use one product in multiple ways so i'm going to show you a lot of hacks in this video so if you want to learn those hacks then please keep watching i just washed my face with this dermavive hydra cleanser i use this cleanser regularly this one is for sensitive skin conditions and it does not dry out my skin it is essilis free paraben free soap free fragrance free and i love this the first product i'm going to show you is this moisturizer so this one is the Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. I love this moisturizer. So you need to have a good moisturizer, whatever it is, whatever suits your skin. You just have to have a good moisturizer for a good base. Now this one is for all skin types. It soothes and hydrates my skin and I absolutely love it. You guys must have seen me using this in so many videos. I use it regularly. A good base is very important and I... Uh, include the moisturizer as a very important part of a base so for me the number one criteria to have good makeup on is a good base it really makes my skin glowy i hope you can see the glow i'm going to use this elegal pro conceal hd concealer you don't really need a foundation for everyday look but i have got dark circles so i need to hide them not because I consider it as a flaw or anything, just to make myself look more awake and fresh and bright. Then I will blend it with the sponge. See, it instantly brightened my whole face. I'll also apply a little bit on my forehead and just go over my entire face with a sponge with no product on. The next product that I'm going to use is a loose powder to set my concealer and this one is the K-Beauty HD Setting Loose Powder. If I apply a concealer under my eyes, I will have to set it with a loose powder, otherwise it will crease. Now look how beautifully this side, um, it just mattified my under eye area and this side it's still a little oily it gives a very airbrushed look next i'm going to use a lip and cheek tint this one is from nika this is the molten matte lip and cheek color so i'm going to apply some on my eyelids i love products which have multiple uses and this one looks so so pretty it smells so good Whatever is left on my finger, I'll just apply it on my lower lash line. Now I'll just apply it on my cheeks as a blush. This looks very pretty as a blush. And it just blends beautifully into your skin. A little bit on the tip of my nose. Now I'm going to apply it on my lips. My eyeshadows, blush, lips done. Just with one single product. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use this Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer. I am a huge brow person. If I don't have my brows on, I don't feel like going out of my house. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. Just a little bit. And I'm done. Since we are using only a handful of products, we just need to make sure that we use the most out of it. So I'm going to use the eyebrow pencil as my eyeliner also. So I'm just going to line it on my upper lash line. 
and it gives a very beautiful uh, brown liner effect which is perfect for for daytime and just smudge it a little with your fingertip also on my lower lash line this one is the sugar uptown curl lengthening mascara you can use whatever mascara works for you so you can apply one single coat or two coats it totally depends on you this is just one coat I'm also going to apply it on my lower lashes another important thing is that if you want to go for a very simple makeup look like this one then you want to accessorize so now i am going to wear this daniel wellington watch and this daniel wellington bracelet i mean it instantly elevated the look already but since i'm wearing this green top i think instead of a rose gold strap a black strap would look better so i think a black strap will complement this color more so i think i'm gonna change my band so i've already detached the rose gold strap and now i'm gonna change it to black and these are the black straps that i'm gonna attach now so i just attached the black straps and it looks gorgeous I absolutely love how this black complements the green outfit that I'm wearing and it instantly elevates my look. I absolutely love this watch and I love how easy you can change your bands and give it a completely new look. I don't have any particular tool specific for this purpose to change the bands. All I used was a safety pin and it hardly took me around uh, one to two minutes. I love this strap because it looks sleek gorgeous and sophisticated. Since this one is a black strap, you can pair it with so many outfits. You can pair it with formals, you can pair it with casuals, you can pair it with a sari, it looks amazing. If you wear it with a white shirt, it looks amazing. All right guys, so this was the final makeup look. I hope you liked it. And if you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Till then, go forth and dazzle. Thank you.